Hi hey guys, Judy here. It's Friday night. I think it's almost 10. Or maybe it is 10. Um, if we're here, I need to get up real early tomorrow. We're going to leave the house early, like around 8, to get to the beach. It's going to be a record temp, 90 degrees at the beach, which it's usually only high of 60 or 70 at our beaches here in Northern Cal. So it's record temp. We're going to, of course, have our wetsuits because the water's still 48 degrees, but we might just not even wear them if it's, you know, if the sand is going to be so hot. Who knows? We'll just see. If we're here, that's our plan. I'm walking my dog. There he is. There's my cat. Bubbies. It feels apocalyptic. We're having this record heat wave. Texas is underwater. California's on fire. It's, it's crazy. We've got... Just the, it's spare the air. They're telling everyone stay inside. It's it's just so bad. You can see the fire in the air. It's just so bad. I've never seen it this bad ever. It's really gross. Um. So, I I, I had shared with you guys that I had an experience uh, about four nights ago. Now, it was amazing. Um. So. Before the Lord fell on my son, he took me up in the air the year before when I was sitting on my couch. I didn't know it meant the rapture. I, w I just pondered it, and it literally changed the course uh, of my life. I, w I was going a certain way, and because he took me up, it sort of changed things for me. Uh, it, I felt like the Lord said, watch your life and walk co closely, um, and I didn't really quite understand it. But he took me up. I was laying on my couch, and then I drifted off into a nap. And then he took me up, and I was on my back, facing flat up, looking at the ceiling. And he took me in different parts of the, of the house I was living in. And then he brought me back into my body, and then I woke up. And I just, I, I was going on a um, cycling trip from California to Oregon that year, that summer that he did that. And, and that's when the Lord let me know, come on, Marty, come that he wanted me to watch myself closely on that cycling trip like come on Marty come like he wanted it to be with just me the trip with me, just him he wanted and he got my attention because I'm a Jesus freak okay but I wasn't rapture centric so I totally on that trip to Oregon with um, all my biker friends I really took a lot of time to be by myself because I was just pondering the way he took me up. What was that, Lord? And then a year later, he falls on my son. And then I know. And then he has taken me up about three times since then. He always does it when I'm sleeping or when I drift off and he puts me in a nap. And then he takes me up. Well, so that's just a little bit of history on that. The Lord, I think, sometimes prepares us for these things, you know. Um, and he didn't explain it to me back when he did it and the first time he took me up I was just it left me in awe and I was just dumbfounded by his power I was just like whoa what was that why did you take me up what's going on you know I'm, it just and he knows me I was obsessed with that kind of display of power and and I knew he was saying something and I knew he was saying watch your walk Closely, like stay super close just keep it just stay with me you know don't even you know even when uh, on your cycling trip don't get involved in, in anything other than just the trees and so that was a really supernatural bike trip I sent some of my friends were like hey we lost you we thought we lost you no I was off with the Lord it was amazing um, I'm a really bodily kinesthetic type of person so I enjoy physical exertion, like activity, like I love cycling, I like, you know, swimming, surfing, I like hot yoga, I like things that uh, are a real challenge, and the Lord made me to where I feel energized and I, I feel Him when I'm, when I'm exercising, you know, it's like, it's fun, it's like a God thing, okay, <laughs> so... Um, that's just how he made me, okay? And, um, so, and that's why if we're here, the next three days, I'm going to be looking forward if that's what we're doing. We're surfing every day with these record temps. And that's going to be my life. I'll be floating in the water. 
Um, so I wanted to make a video before all that just to let you guys know that four days ago he took me up, but it was different this time. Every time he takes me up, I tell him to slow down because I get really scared because he lets me feel the G-force. He doesn't play. He'll take me up by my ankles upside down. He'll take me up on my back. I mean, he doesn't do it gently. Um, and, and it's fun, but I'm also like, whoa, 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 whoa. But this time when he did it, he took me in three loops, like back down and then back up and then back down and then back up. Come on, bubs. And I literally did not tell him to stop. I always do. And I, I said, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I yelled it like really loud as he was taking me up and it was, I was feeling it in my belly and I'm like, oh my God. But I was literally yelling, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. And he just kept taking me up higher and higher and higher and all around and whoosh. And then he would let me fly me back down and I could feel the loops and then, you know, and then back up and then another loop and, and I wasn't afraid and I didn't ask him to slow down. And when I, when he finally brought me back into my body, I literally, okay, so I, I had drifted off to sleep, but then I, this was just four nights ago. And then I went back and I could feel my spirit attached to my body. It's hard to explain you guys because I was asleep, but right before it felt that I must have woken up and been, I must have been like in a halfway state because I could literally feel it. So when I woke up, I was still tingling and energized and I was smiling. I was so excited. I was like, Lord. And I really felt that it just meant that you're not afraid. You're ready to go. Like you're not even resisting, even when you feel the G force, you know? Come on, sweet pie. Let's go back. And, um, so. I'm making this video to get you excited. Um, have no fear, bride. You know, he's still coming on a regular day, okay? So it is a regular day that we see uh, disasters. I mean, this is nothing the world hasn't seen. You know, they're small scale though, and notice the minimal loss of life for such a big disaster. I mean, there's under 20 people dead. Marty, come, we have to go, come on. Marty, come. Come, come on, let's go. Good boy. And um, he's answering our prayers, but it's like a wake up call, okay? So it's still a regular day. It's just their wake up calls. And we're gonna continue to see these. They're the birth pains, that's what he told me. He's not judging Texas, I already made a video on that. He's, he's, these, are the, these are birth pains, but stepping up, the contractions are closer to, coming closer together, coming closer together, you know? And um, it's exciting. And um, and so we joyfully await our king. And listen, I just want to encourage people about your relationship with your groom. You guys, he loves you. He will flirt with you like he does me, okay? Um, it's kind of like this. If... if if you're in a relationship and your significant other is constantly bringing you flowers and you never acknowledge it or say thank you, they're going to quit doing it because it's just, it'll, first of all, it'll deflate their bubble. They'll feel sad that they're not getting any reaction from you and they'll just be not motivated. Well, see, God has feelings too. So if he gives you a flirt and you don't acknowledge it, I call flirts, you know, even if it's something so small, you have to take your ounce of faith and recognize that was God and thank him. So I'm always thanking God for like every little thing he does. Like, oh my gosh, I know that was you and I'm so thankful. And so my faith and he rewards it. Okay. So that's why I get, I, I he flirts with me a lot my groom flirts with me because I'm acknowledging when he gives me a bouquet of flowers, you know, and for guys, you know what I'm talking about. Like you can understand that concept. You know, the king of the universe is giving you is flirting with you. Okay. It's not in a sexual way, but it's the, you know, he's going to give you all his power, you know? So pretty soon when you see him face to face, he's going to give you his kingdom. It's pretty incredible to think about it like that. So, you know, if you want more of his kingdom in your life, 
don't ignore them. He told me m most of my, I am largely ignored by most of my creation. I was so sad the day he told me that. And I was sad too, because I think I ignored him a lot in my life, you know? So I'm like, God, I don't want to do that, you know? And, and so don't ignore him. I acknowledge when your groom flirts with you and then he'll give you more flowers because he'll like that. He'll, he, you know, I mean, who likes to be ignored? Okay, so, so I acknowledge things through faith. I recognize them as being from God, and then I say thank you, God, and then He gives me more because I'm I'm not ignoring it. I think God's talking to a lot of people more than they think, and because they're not using their faith and acknowledging it and staying in a relationship with Him, they're like, "How come you get it, Judy? I don't." And I'm thinking, if I was in your life and I was walking by you that day, I would have probably pointed out five ways in which he spoke to you and you wouldn't have acknowledged or not one of them okay and so you didn't get anything because you didn't acknowledge it and you didn't get more so um you know it's just it's all about you relationships are two-way they're not one way everyone just thinks they can just sit there and and something will happen you have to be active that's why he gives the marriage analogy and that's why he, you know, that's why we're in relationship. It's two way. Okay. You have to go after God. You have to be desperate and, and you will be. I had something happen today that made me really desperate. I got uh, some persecution from a family member. Some wrongful, hurtful things were said to me again. And I'm just like, it hurt because listen, for people to say that things don't hurt you, then you're just not, I get hurt easily. I'm very sensitive, but I also love. And so even though I know it's BS, what's coming against me, it still hurts me. Even though I know it's BS, I shouldn't own it. It's their issue. It's not my issue, but it still hurts because you're in this world and you're human, you know, so my little heart was aching and the Lord just like majorly lifted me up. And I just want to encourage you, like, he will lift you up and give you, like, I, it doesn't usually happen when this occurs, but it happened tonight. So I acknowledged it and I thanked him. And that's what I'm talking about. But like, he just pulled the veil off and just showed me the lie of what was going on. And I couldn't even spend a minute anymore in that sorrow it's like he took the knife out of my gut and just pulled it out I was so amazed I was like thank you Lord it's like he just showed me the truth right then and there no you're not even gonna feel I'm not gonna let you feel sad over this not even for one more minute because you my daughter are not guilty they're guilty you know and I don't want your heart to hurt I want you to have a good day I want you to have a good night I want you to know I'm pleased with you it was really cool. It doesn't always happen like that. So a lot of times when I get attacked like that, I have to work through it and use my faith and then feel sad for an hour and then, you know, but he just pulled me right out of it. What a sweet groom. Marty, come. You get over here. Marty. Um, Marty, come. Now. Can't pick it on the kitty cats. I don't know why, so. So just acknowledge him and thank him and you'll get more okay and I told him if he's gonna be ignored by people can I have their portion so yeah if you ignore him five times a day I get five times as much of his glory because I asked for it okay <laughs> so um be obsessed with your groom. He's coming any day. Take advantage of this time where you get to know him by faith. You can see him face to face. It'll be amazing. But knowing him by faith is pretty amazing too. So jump into it, guys. I am too. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.